does gear matter? So a friend of mine reached out to me and asked me what lens I use. And, and it kind of took me back to the questions and comments that a lot of creatives get in regards to their gear. Most commonly, if I had the same gear as you, I'd probably be able to make the same quality content as you. That comment brings me back to the earlier question, does gear matter? And to that I say, it depends. We all know that you need the correct tools to do the craft. And to achieve a certain effect, you need a certain tool. So yes, gear does matter, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the more expensive your gear is, the better your content is. The quality of content is down to the person who creates it. And by that, I mean a master with cheap gear is better than an amateur with expensive gear. Just like a professional photographer will take better photos on an iPhone than an amateur with a $6,000 camera. With that being said, let me run you through the gear that I've been rocking for the past three years. The first camera that I ever bought, the Canon EOS M5. Now this camera was one of Canon's earlier mirrorless models, paired with an EF M15-45. That kit started my photography and videography hobby until I got my hands on an EFM 22mm macro lens. This lens carried the first part of my photography career. It was my daily driver that never failed to take fantastic photos, especially with some beautiful background blur. This was stuck to my camera until I got my next lens, the Canon EF 50mm 1.8, also known as the Nifty 50. Now because this lens has a different mount than the camera, I had to get an adapter. And so I got the Viltrox EF to EOS M mount adapter with an inbuilt speed booster. This kit has been my daily driver for the past two years. And although this kit is relatively cheap and outdated, I'm still able to capture amazing images and aesthetic videos. So I hope that clears up the question of 